1990 Honda Goldwing GL1500. Uh, it had been, uh, been dumped on its left side and uh, kind of tore up a little bit. So <laughs> here it is, pretty much finished. I uh, painted it. Um, the exhaust system, the original exhaust system was kind of rotten and torn up. So uh, being cheap as I am, I bought mufflers on eBay uh, from a, I believe it was an ultra classic, but I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, the mufflers, the boat, the set of the two of them uh, cost me like 20 bucks because everybody who's got a Harley, I guess, takes their mufflers off and puts aftermarket on. So anyway, these, uh, these mufflers I uh, put on here. I uh, just made a little welded bracket underneath the saddlebag to kind of support the backside. I'll zoom in and try to show you a little bit more about it. Yeah, there it is, just idling anyway. It's a little louder than stock. It's not obscenely loud. The uh, I get rid of the collector box that's in front of the rear wheel and uh, <clears throat> took it to a muffler shop and just asked them to bend up the pipes for me. Just to kind of fit in there. You can see right there. Kind of goes up inside. Really not nothing special about any of that. <coughs> it was uh, not a real big deal. They they have pipe benders, so they were able to get it to fit in there. So basically I just took the saddlebags off when I was painting everything and repairing everything and uh, made a bracket to, to hang the, uh, it's not even really a bracket, it's just a little tab, to hang the original, or to hang these mufflers, you can see it right there, put these mufflers on there and they, they went ahead and sped up the pipes for it. When I painted it, I uh, painted flames in the saddlebag, you can't really see it I suppose, anyway, yeah, you might be able to see it there. Uh, flames is all I can paint with an airbrush, so everything I own has flames on it. Really, this is done with, I painted the uh, the black base coat, then I painted flames with my airbrush using auto air, airbrush colors. <coughs> then uh, I have a Masters G44 airbrush, and I just took literally like cardstock and just cut out a bunch of like toe shapes on it. What you do is you just outline the shape of the flame here a little bit, and you freehand some of these streams. Anyway, you lay down a layer of flames and then you paint candy apple made by, uh, I use uh, uh, House of Color, color with a K. This is called candy apple red. Uh, it's called candy coat. It's kind of like a mid coat, I guess. So anyway, on top of the flames, I paint a, the candy apple mid coat and then I paint more flames and the candy apple mid coat and then I tape it off. And then I paint the base coat and then wet sand everything down a little bit, clear coat it. Uh, not rocket science really. See, I, it's raining out here a little bit. But anyway, you can see I put it on the trunk lid. Kind of gives a little bit of an edgy look, I guess. Anyway, there it is. Try to rev it up a little. You have it. Um, something else I did too is I put on this bagger windshield. I really liked it because it was low profile, but it also you can see it has like this interior piece here. <coughs> it's convertible. You take these three pins here loose, they just pop loose, and then you flip the windshield, the inside piece up, and so it's you know naturally I guess it's almost as tall as the OEM windshield. And I got rid of the original uh, the original uh, stereo system. The, uh, that's a radio head unit out of uh, meant, meant for a boat, so it's waterproof. Uh, and it's got an MP3 player instead of a tape deck. So down in here in the in behind the fuel door, you just put a, a uh, flash drive, one of those little thumb drives with music on it, and uh, this plays really well. It's a 40 watt four-way system. So, oh wait, it was a really fun project. I enjoyed rebuilding it. Uh, yeah, it's good times. So anyway, there it is. Pretty much for the most part done. Still want to polish this valve cover and 
few little things like that, but all in all, really fun project. Anyway, uh, look, drop me a line if you have any questions about how I did what I did. None of it's difficult in any way. It's just, in most cases, it's time consuming. So.